I praise and thank God for this beautiful morning time that God has given us to come in his presence before his precious word. For our morning meditation, let's turn to Proverbs chapter 16 verse 31. The hoary head is a crown of glory if it be found in the way of righteousness. Here in this scripture we can see how specific the words of the spirit of the Lord are. that teaches us that the hoary head is a crown of glory it if it be founded in the way of righteousness in this world that we live in people try to hide their gray hair as they do not consider it as a sign of glory they want to remain young till their death as their mind is not ready to accept the fact that their time to leave this world is coming very near It is good to remain young and active at heart till our death. But to polish our perishing body by using different methods to show ourselves as young will only end up making us a laughing stock before others. That is why it's called makeup. Here the scriptures clearly says the hoary head is a crown of beauty and glory if it is found in the way of righteousness so let us not consider the hoary head as a shame but accept the reality of life with grace it is god who has appointed the day of our arrival and the day of our exit from this world for each person as he is the creator of all when a person does not have that right relationship with the lord and lives in sin then the enemy satan who is in control of that person will try to make his life miserable before he leaves this world and god who does not interfere in the free will of a person will never hinder a person when he chooses the path of freedom that is away from the lord but in the life of a person who has submitted his life into the hands of the lord everything happens according to the will of god Let us not think that if a person dies when he is young he was immature and he was not in the plan of god a preacher once said our lord is a loving and caring gardener who takes care of each plant with love and great care and he knows how to gather the fruits and vegetables at the right time some are gathered when they are ripe but some are gathered when they are still unripe the lord gathers his people for himself according to his great plan and at his own time so let us not judge anyone when they leave this world that seems very early in our eyes but here the spirit of god describes the life of some people who walk in the path of righteousness and live long with their hoary heads it increases their beauty and glory of their inner man and the outer man though they are weak in their physical body as they are walking closer to death yet their face will reflect that glory which they have gathered in their life's journey walking in the path of righteousness they have learned many mysteries of life which they could pass on to the next generation they have faced many situations diverse situations in their life they have met different people at different times and all these things have taught them many important lessons in their life they know the reality that a man enters this world alone and will leave this world alone as they have met many near and dear ones who had walked beside them once upon a time but they are gone but life's journey continues and we will have to walk this path alone till we reach our end they have learned that it is the lord who will be with us forever and that fact has helped them to grow more closer to the lord and seek his blessed will they know what life really is in this world that is full of sorrows as they have tasted all its flavors If a person is mature in his spiritual life that will be reflected in his life 
as he will be a blessing to the people around him if not he will be a person who will be of an irritating nature short tempered and thus becomes a burden to the people around him as some are fed up with life they greet each day with murmurings and grumblings the worldly minded person will try to enjoy the pleasures of this world as he knows there is less time before him we can see how such people are attached to the material things of this world they seek the pleasures of this life but a person who loves the lord and the path of righteousness will be eager to meet the lord and he will spend more time to get ready to meet the lord of his life for him he will be detaching himself from this world as he knows everything that surrounds him is just like a bubble that will disappear in a short time and he will get ready to enter that heavenly world such a person will encourage and exhort the next generation with his experiences which has which has helped them to gather the heavenly treasures that we that will be with him for eternity such individuals will be able to share the faithfulness of god and his grace which they have tasted in their life but it all depends upon the personal relationship of that person with the lord such a person will be correct in their judgment and advice but remember the younger generation will seek advice from a person only when he sees that their life is worth for it So let us spend each day of our life carefully so that our life's foundation is built strong in the Lord. Let us not miss any opportunity that is important to make us mature for life eternal. Let us surrender ourselves for the blessed will of God each day and learn from the yoke of Christ that makes us perfect and complete in him. When our hair turns gray, let it be a crown of glory that brings honor to our heavenly Father. May the Lord help each one of us for that. Let us pray. Father, we praise you and thank you for this beautiful morning. We thank you for this beautiful life that you have given us. And thank you for the eternal life that you have given us. Each day, you are holding our hands and leading us and helping us to experience the different flavors of this precious life. You have brought so many people into our lives. Many of them have finished their race and they are gone we thank you for their lives they were a blessing lord as we continue our journey lord help us to trust you as we look back each day we have experienced the abundance of your grace we commit each one of us whether we be young or our hair, hair is white Lord help us to cherish each moment that you bring in our life. You are in control. May your name be glorified. Thank you Lord. Help us to be a blessing and an inspiration. Thank you Lord. In Jesus most holy name we pray. Amen. May God bless each one of us. Our Lord is coming very soon. Maranatha.